What is up everyone? So last video we got the 32 running and I'm still surprised by it and it seems like you guys actually really like this car which is really cool. That, that's really awesome because I plan on having some fun with it. Now last video I asked for a couple names and we saw quite a few good ones on there, right? Yeah, we saw a couple of them. I've heard a few good ones. <laughs> so there's a couple names that look real good on paper but don't really sound too good. So I think our top two names right now, right? Top two. Yep. Is either the R30U or the Doo Doo 32. I like the U32 you, person. You like 30, the U32? U32? The R30U. R30U. Dude, the U32 actually, you just came up with that. It's right off the top. Right off the top. Dude, I like the Doo Doo 32. The Doo Doo 32 has my vote. I just don't like Doo Doo, so that's probably why I don't yeah, like it. No, Look at this thing. That no thing one is, likes Doo Doo, but. <laughs> doo Doo stew Some written all do over it. Like <laughs> big brown windshield banner Doo Doo. Doo Doo 32. So R30U. The U32 off the top, U32. or the Doo Doo 32. If you call it the Doo Doo 32, it needs a Doo Doo paint job. No, 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 Brown you can't paint. go that far. No, no, Brown. that's that's a little far. <laughs> yeah, you might not go that far, but we will. I don't want it like. Camera. No, I don't mean it like it's a giant. Like I don't want it to look like a, a piece of poo. It just Doo Doo as in it. No, no, dude, look at all the rust. It's just Doo Doo rust. It's brown. That's, okay. Right Let us know in the comments out of those three choices. But yesterday, uh, I actually did a collab with another YouTuber, which is really cool. Uh, really awesome guy. I've been dying to meet for a really long time. And you guys will see in the next video, I'll put the link because their video is posting, I think in a couple days, whatever. But stay tuned for that for the next video. If you guys see it, you'll know. I don't know why I'm gassing up right now because I'm not really giving you much information, but. It's quite gas. Very, um, what's the word? It's fire. Out. Definitely fire. <laughs> so <laughs> it's gonna be on his channel and next video I'll post the link for it. Um, but I'm just saying this because I had a really good day yesterday. It was a long day. I'm really tired, but it was cool. So moving on, right? So the main project right now is the K-Series Kuki. The, the Koki, the Kauki. So you guys always yell at me for calling it Kuki, but it's just whatever. So my K-Series S14. And uh, the next big step of the process is getting all the piping done. So. This Monday, we are bringing it down to our buddy Johnny Little, which is across the parking lot, and we are getting a full downpipe made, so the exhaust will be finished, and we're also gonna do the intercooler piping, so that's a huge step. When the piping's done, the thing will look really together. So, spent all morning making sure that we had all the supplies for that, and it's crazy how many things are on back order and out of stock, so it's been a long morning trying to piece everything together. But today, we are going to finish a system, and that is huge, right? Because we tackle these engine swaps and systems, and if you can complete an entire system, you're doing pretty good. So today, we are handling the cooling system. Something I've been piecing together on the side so we can make it one smooth process. So let's check out what I got. All right, boys, so the cooling system of the car is obviously very important. There's a couple aspects to it. One, we gotta keep the engine cool, right? We got this thing. And then we gotta keep our bodies warm. So we have, uh, well, the heater hoses, right? <laughs> There's nothing too crazy. We're not doing a squirrel pot. We're not doing any of that stuff. So keeping it nice and simple. And this is what I've compiled together to do so. To do. To do. So, <laughs> do so. <laughs> so the first piece of the puzzle, the easiest, is the radiator. So Toge Factory has this, like, I guess, collab radiator? I don't know. It's their own personal radiator for the case off that Coil actually makes, which is dope. Coil is the top of the line when it comes to this stuff, and honestly, you can't beat the quality. So what they did is they made sure we had both inlets and outlets on the same side, so it's nice and efficient. So it's a dual pass radiator, which is nice because coolant goes through not only this way, but then back this way. Double, Double the cooling. cooling. Nice work. This is our nice swap radiator. Check this thing out. That thing is beautiful. It's so dude. nice, dude. The Toge Factory boys have real good taste. Yeah. So we have a radiator mounted, and now we need the next piece that we actually have to add on to the engine to keep the ball rolling. So check it out. On the engine, basically we have our hot pipe right here on top, and then we don't really have anything for the bottom, but we have our water pump housing right here, and as you can see, it's kind of a big hole. And so Toge Factory sells this piece right here that turns it into a thermostat housing and a barb for our lower coolant hose. It's pretty crazy though, because you see how this is like round. This is like a triangle shape. When I first got it, I was like, they sent me the wrong piece. It's like a teardrop. But that's what they do. And uh, there's just enough surface area to put this round shape on there. And well, it does the trick. Even like the front wheel drive guys, like they do the same thing, so. Okay, not questioning it, just interesting. So we gotta set this thing up, right? Because we have three holes. One is just an eighth inch MPT. You could use it for like an aftermarket water temp sensor or maybe another barb to put like a coolant line to a turbo or something, right? Then we have this three inch NPT, which I'm gonna to convert to barb so I can run a line to my heater hose, my heater core, whatever you wanna consider it, right? 
And then we have these threads right here, which you would think would be an MPT, right? That's what I would thought. Thought it was. I ran around like crazy trying to figure out something to plug this. It, it comes to find out it's actually a Honda piece. This is a fan switch, I believe. I had to call up one of my K-series buddies to tell me this. This kind of just fills up the hole. Pause. Even if, <laughs> even if we're not going to be using it. So that's it. That's our piece right here. That's the piece. That's the piece. I mean, look at that. That's looking fancy, right? Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Not bad. Reader hose, heater hose line. Yeah, makes sense. Huh? Not bad. We're gonna start with the more pain in the butt thing, and that's gonna be the heater hose line. So as you guys know, your heater core is basically a radiator, right? In and out, runs through a coolant, fan goes by, and it blows you with some hot air. Boom. So we have an inlet, an outlet, and we have to get that hooked up to the engine. So on the back of the head, there's actually a bar fitting right here. And this is gonna be basically our stream for hot coolant, right? Given all the coolant's gonna be hot, but it's gonna be the hotter portion of the coolant. And then we have the colder portion of the coolant, right, coming out of the radiator, right here. We installed that. This was a little more pain in the butt, but uh, I did my thing. I went in the back of the part store and just searched out a bunch of random OEM hoses, cut them up and made it work. So I found this hose right here that actually fits fantastic. And so this is the part number for it. Check it out. I obviously tried to figure this out ahead of time so we weren't running around all day filming this video. So this is a pretty crazy shape, but it actually works pretty mint. Slips right in the back of the head, right in the barb. And then this, hmm. look at that, hmm. right in the firewall. The Get the hose clamp. Get the hose clamp. Look, looks, I just wanted to show them first. Looks yeah. official, right? Too excited. So that was pretty cool. I was really happy when that worked out because I was worried most about that one. And then for the other <laughs> one, this is also a OE hose that I found in the back. Look at 804. 07 deco hose. Literally is is a, a 90 with a lot of straight. That's what you need. That's all we need. So we could stick this through. Keep pulling. All right, right, right there. Yeah, that's that's yep, where that that's goes. It. That's it. All done. That's not bad. All right, so check it out. We got it right here. Not too bad, right? I'm gonna make it seat deeper. It's just a tight fit. So we can go behind the head, and it's gonna go just like this. So we can actually trim this up even more. I want it to be tight, tight. Take this and look at that. Take a little more off the top. No, 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 that's good. Look how official it looks with the hose clamps on. Man, this thing does not want to focus it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's still so much space. Oh, yeah. You can fit AC in here. Yeah, but not the, not the pump. That would be kind of sick. Well, here's the issue, right? The oil pan is where it would mount, right? The pump. Oh, yeah. I thought it was on the other side. So have Johnny or somebody Hack the oil pan. And yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah. All right, here we go. I love how like OEM this looks. Not mad about that. So I put a little spacer in there so it doesn't rub on the starter. A little race car trick right there. Um, I would have loved to be able to go straight up with it. It would have been a lot cleaner, but this actually gets in the way. So if you're not gonna use this, I would suggest welding that shut or finding some type of plug for it so you can go straight up and it would be a lot nicer. What do you think? The third port? Yeah. I, you're saying for running something there? He doesn't even know what I'm talking about. I would run a line for the third port, loop it through your seat, heated seats. <laughs> He's had worse ideas. <laughs> TF Works is actually supposed to be coming out with their own radiator hoses that are like meant for this, but in the meantime, I was told the S2K hoses actually fit somewhat decent. I've never seen such an intricately long straight radiator hose in my life. Are these kind of goofy? Yeah, that's real weird. I kind of like that it drops down here because that'll uh, allow us to help with the intercooler piping. So if we shove this thing on there, or we could cut it. What about this one right here? Try this guy. Oh, look at that though. Look at, if we cut this first notch off here, it actually fits kind of nice like that. Are you gonna cut it? Oh yeah. Measure nuns, cut once. There you go. These are not hose cutters by any means. Nope. Yeah. That ain't it, bud. That's all right. Oh. Let's do our modified hose. We got that one right there. Kicks down nice. We come back. Ooh. Oh, I'm actually. Look, you can even choke it up the hose if you want. Not bad. It's still a little goofy looking. JimmyBase.com. <laughs> okay, so you don't see the goofiness underneath. All right, I'm going to shorten this. It's either going to total this whole piece or it's going to work out great. Fingers crossed, boys. Oh, boy. Why? You should have just left it. No, 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 no. Sometimes you got to take a chance in life. Oh, Donald, look at my gamble paid off. Oh, wow. That looks way less goofy now. All right, so you see this bend right here on the lower one? It actually works out great, right? But once we get this kink in it, things get a little funky. So it looks like if we actually take this whole section out and just go straight and then use this, we should get to that perfectly. So I found this thing up top, and I think I'm going to use this as just like a juncture right in the middle. 
Just do it that way, right? Right there, and as you could see, we just need like a two inch straight, and we're good to go. Look at that. You just tape them together. Actually works really well. And that should be it. Not too bad. The stainless looks kind of dope in there, doesn't it? Yeah, I like it. It's a nice touch. Professional. We like shiny. Big fan of that. Doesn't look doesn't look as goofy anymore, does it? No, not at all. It looks like it should be there. I'll do it. That's not too bad. So here's the funny thing, right? You could have just thrown the hoses on and it would have worked. Yeah, it would have worked. It would have worked, but 10 minutes later, you can make it look goofy and you can make it look a little less goofy. <laughs> it's still, still a little goofy, but... No, we're gonna hide it anyways. And we got one more piece of the puzzle to complete the cooling system. There you go, boys. Last piece of the puzzle. Well, That's it. we still need coolant, but like... Love that's that. That's it, we're Love done. Love that. So obviously we still need an overflow tank, but that's super easy, we'll handle that later on. But for now, the whole entire coolant system is sealed. Not, Not right. bad. Chase, I see what you did there. I give it a B plus. Yeah, I'll take it. It's not permanent, you know, right? It's not What's permanent. Right here? Honest opinions here. <laughs> I can tell you that it ain't going nowhere. It might go somewhere. So the cooling system is like completely done, which is huge, right? That's the whole system checked off the list. And it's actually nice and simple. There's not much going on. There's not a lot of places it can leak. There's not a lot of things you gotta potentially replace later in the future. It is just four hoses. One other thing I wanna add to the engine bay today to transform it. Do you know what I'm talking about, Deej? Transform. Transform. Say it with us. Ready? Transform. transform. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me get it. Look how Jeez. fire this looks, right? What in the what? Why is right? this so different? How Wait. hot is this? What? What's going on? All right, well, check this out, right? So there's two type of K-series valve covers. There's one that says Honda, and then there's one that says Honda Motor Co. So this time I got the Honda one. Big difference. I don't, I, that might be a Honda one, whatever. So uh, obviously we went with the powder coated wrinkle black. You cannot beat that. That is the safe option, right? We got a lot of colors going on. The car is an interesting color. Red is classic, but I wanted to try and change it up a little bit. And the wrinkle black is, I guess not really changing it. We haven't done wrinkle black in a while. You're We're going back to the roots. It. Transforming. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so one of the big things with the Honda valve covers is there actually is like a PCV port in the back right here. So when that motor is sideways, it doesn't matter, but when it's this way, it's hitting the firewall. So you have to lop it off. And we put two uh, dash eight fittings right here for PCV. Usually you want to put them farther away, but uh, I actually got it with these already installed and for some reason right next to each other, but it's fine. We actually added more baffling to it, so it'll work out perfectly. So huge shout out right here to my buddies down at Shoreline Powder Coating. They're in North Branford, Connecticut. Check them out. They got me right. This came out beautiful. I'm so happy about this. And then my buddy Spoon203 hit me with the uh, the baffling plate here and got it all reconnected after getting powder coated and you know taking the baffles out and cleaning it. So I got hooked up on this thing. It is absolutely beautiful. And I had to keep the theme going, right? So I got the K-Tune cover because it sits right here and look at it matches perfect. Who's K-Tune? Like I would say the K-Tune's like the ISR of the Honda world. 240 guys know what I'm talking about, right? They're great products. Yep. They make a bunch of products and they're affordable. affordable. So. They're like not the OGs, but they're doing it. So they're doing they're it. They're doing yeah, it. I see them for that. So this is also a K-Tune product. Just a nice blacked out wheel cap. So look how hard this thing looks. Nice. So I've been dying to get this back to put it on. So let's do some. Transforming. <laughs> is that what VTech looks like? That's what VTech looks like. Yeah, sure. This is VTech? Yeah, see those extra cantaloupes? Yeah. See the bigger ones? Yeah. That's VTech. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Kidding. Oh, this is so good, dude. All and right, that black so looks good. In there. To put, dude, okay, that looks so good. Too but good. before we could gawk at it and really take it in, we gotta add the last bit of sauce. This is the icing on the cake, right? So you save it for last. You take the bottom off the cupcake, you eat that, and you just go straight for the frosting, right? That's the technique. Then the cherry. That's like the cherry. This is and the cherry. <laughs> Damn, I'm sorry. Let's see it. Oh, she needed it. She needed it. <laughs> yeah, can I get four spark plugs, RJ? I get four of these. I can remember to change my inventory. Thank you. 
You're welcome. What do you need spark plugs for? My the K20 that I just got. Yeah. Okay. What? Yeah. Okay. I'm doing a mid mount mid engine on the 13. <laughs> mid mount mid engine. <laughs> New plugs in here. I can finally throw these things in, which is very exciting. A little dusty. A little gold bolts. Nice touch. It's, it's the things that you don't see that really matter, you know? I guess that's probably true, yeah. <laughs> nice, with all the accessory drive on there. Yeah, so I threw that on earlier. You guys have been paying attention. I didn't have this tension around with the belt. Threw that on earlier, actually, too. I would like the wrinkle black. Right, big fan. I just... What do you think of the radiator hoses? Not bad, right? Oh, jeez. Look at this long dong Larry. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that looks so dope without the little cover on. So take it in. Let's see. Should we leave it off? Because it looks kind of... I don't know, it looks like very aftermarket race car without the cover on. Looks so dope. Let's get this thing on. All right, and then that looks so clean, dude. I am obsessed with that. The wrinkle black was definitely the move. Dude, that goes hard. This is a nice wrinkle black, too. You it's usually so... see our rattle can jobs. This is... I love that it matches, because obviously this is, you know, done yeah, up two yeah. different... Oh, that looks so good. It's nice because the, the dumpy paint in here, it kind of takes your eyes off of it because the valve cover's not so loud, you know? These have huge valve covers. Huge. Let's just talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that completely transformed it. It's so much more, like, modest and humble looking. I don't know how to, you it, know. That, that cover did a lot for me. It really smoothed it out, huh? Oh, dude, I don't know why. so good. Oh, I'm in love, dude. This is like one of those moments where you're just like, damn, step back and look at your car, you know? Going together, you know, with the dumpy paint, but once this thing is actually silver moss and the engine bay all cleaned up, it's gonna be insane. I got you, one of these days. But uh, for now, let's get this thing together and it looks so good as it sits. Oh, dude, this is beautiful. The guy's gotta come see this. What are they doing over there? Did you freaking buy a grill? Yeah. You seriously went and bought a grill? Yeah. yeah, no, we didn't. We bought a toaster. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a toaster. It, it was fitted. But it grills. What the hell is wrong with them? Did they literally just go buy this? The shoes yeah. made me do it. Why do you think a truck's running? <laughs> I'm so mad you bought that. that you hate grills you that bad? You don't like grills? Jimmy doesn't want us to have it because he Wait. thinks we're not going to clean Wait. it. You're going to use this once and then never use it again. It's going to get all gross. You know what? <laughs> you are already just being banned from eating anything we cook off this. Look then Jimmy's going to pick up the whole grill and open that dumpster and just be throw like it in. Either a Friday night or a Saturday yeah. afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't worry. We'll, 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 keep you, we'll keep you guys with the grill updates. Yeah, keep them updated. No, don't even keep them with the updates. Grill. You're not invited to our grill. There's a scratch and dent. All right, all right. Are you guys ready to see the... Transformation. Transformation. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's so much better with the black. It it changes the whole thing. Like, it just looks so much more complete. See, now, how good does the whole engine bay look with this in here? Way better. Yeah, yeah. Like, everyone in the comments, zip those mouths. <laughs> okay. I see you. That looks damn good. So this one is the Honda Motor Co. Limited. So, so the two variants you get. Either Honda or Honda Motor Co. Little bit of difference. Does a lot. I like the Honda. Yeah, no, I, I mean, yeah, I think they both look good. <laughs> but before I go home for the day, tomorrow I'm going to Tommy's to pick up a couple Skyline pieces and uh, some other things. So I want to get underneath this thing and check out what we actually have for a drivetrain underneath. Because he said there was a drive shaft in it. I didn't really look. And I don't even know if there's axles in the thing, but let's check it out. I'm a little worried. Quickly, I can see that there is a diff bolted in, but let's get this thing on jack sands and check out the rest of it. I see a lot of zip ties. <laughs> so it looks like there's axles in it. That's good news. I don't think it's as bad as I was expecting it to be. Which is good, right? <laughs> as you can see, this piece right here, this yeah. is the rear Hikus delete. So this thing had Hikus, which is Nissan's like all-wheel steering. And so there used to be like a mini power steering rack back here that's deleted. And so it's just kind of like a fixed high rod now, which is good. Um, the subframe actually isn't too crusty, which is great. And look at the mounts for the subframe on the actual frame itself. Do you see that? It's actually in really good condition. Like the whole frame rail and everything is not rusty at all. Like my coupe has worse frame rails than this thing. And that car is really nice. Yeah, even the front, it's crispy. Tie rods and stuff are a little crispy, but that's just typical from sitting for like four years. It's not bad under here. So we have axles in here, which is great. They are the typical uh, five bolt 
Skyline axles. There is a diff, which is good, but it's missing the stubs. I have no idea why you take the stubs out. And five bolt stubs are like really hard to get, so. What I wanna do is I wanna put an S13 diff in here, and we could do that by putting an S13 axles also. Uh, just because if we have any issues with the diff, it's, I have a lot of extra S chassis diffs, so not a big issue. It does have a drive shaft, which is fantastic. That is really good news. And that will bolt right up to an S chassis diff, I believe. Um, I think we can put an S13 diff right in here and call it a day. Well, look at like even the spare tire well, it looked like it was banged on the hammer quite a bit, but it's not that rusty. It's this thing is so awkwardly rusty. It just doesn't make sense. I hope you guys are probably so disoriented. I mean, look at even like everything back here. There's not as many holes underneath as yeah, there are not. on top. That's what I'm saying. It's very interesting like the way this car This spot is normal, right? Yeah, this is all pretty damn good. See, this thing, structurally, fantastic. <laughs> Who would have thought? This <laughs> is <laughs> the battery cable, or what was the battery this? cable. What? Do you see it? Very all, interesting. All the zip ties? Yes. Very interesting. They didn't even clip the end, you know? They were in a hurry. They were in a hurry. What were they doing that day? <laughs> Something important. Hopefully it has a half decent clutch in here. I have no idea. Right now we, we still gotta bleed the clutch because it doesn't even barely work, so. Hopefully the clutch isn't seized to the flywheel because it's been sitting yeah. for so long. You never know. That's true. But not that dirty under here. Yeah. Are you happy with us? Yeah, I'm ecstatic. Yeah. Momentum building. Fantastic. Yeah. Is it tied to the sway bar? Yeah, the whole thing is just Very like, interesting. Um, you want to cut that out for yeah, me? Yeah, I want to. Do you have a razor? Yeah, I got something I for you. Down Are you? I How? can't get out the back. <laughs> you get stuck? Yeah, it's tight under here. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. Wow, that went so fast. <laughs> I was like, oh, Steph, my sky. Uh -oh. You ain't get hard. There's a zip tie. Harder. Nice work. I don't want to keep fixating on this cable too much, but like, this thing is like a ground cable for a house. It, it is, is so heavy. rigid. Well, okay, guys, well, just a quick tip of the day so no one ever has to do this. When you're doing a battery location, you're like, man, where do I get wire, right? If you just, if you don't know, you don't know. This is what you're gonna get when you go to Home Depot. So the, this is the tip. If you're, you're trying to spend the money in store, because it's a lot cheaper online, if you gotta get it done this weekend, get welding cable. That's it right there. It's flimsy. It's got a good set of insulation on it. It's not rigid like that. It works really well. Go to your local welding store, or hell, like Tractor Supply. They got it. Probably. It's just really expensive, but use that. Don't use... I mean, if that's all you're gonna buy, it can't be too much money. It's pretty expensive, but oh. this is not gonna work. You're gonna hate your life, so. so. If I save one person from falling down this rabbit hole, I felt like I, I made it, you know? What if they were all sold out at Tractor Supply Co? Yeah. Wait till next week. <laughs> I'm sorry, but man, this thing makes my 33 look like a freaking gem, and this is hilarious, but okay. Been rambling on the last little bit. Hope you guys liked today's video. Uh, we're jumping. We're I'm getting this thing running. I'm getting this thing driving the next couple days. I'm excited. So we'll visit Tommy, go steal a bunch of his stuff, throw it on here, and we'll be good to go. That sound good? I guess so. And in the midst of that, we'll be Crazy. getting that car together. Everything's great. Big days. Big days. And then, as you guys could probably see in the background, the coupe is on the dyno. I haven't done it yet, but so my kit is finally back from paint, which means I can like actually make the car a car again so I can kind of ramp the motivation back because now they're finally the rest of it is in my hands. And first thing it needs is a retune for the season. It's been a long time. Get this thing with some fresh ethanol in it. And last weekend I finally threw some AN wastegate lines in this thing. It's always a chore, but, but I kept melting the wastegate lines previously so I had to change it. So hopefully we'll make some decent power. We'll keep it reliable. We'll keep it happy and she'll be ready to get the kit and ready to drive. That's big news. I just Feels like it's been so long, I like forget it's possible. So, all right, I'm gonna shut up. So, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content. And Steffi? Have a great night, everybody.